They don't call it fall for nothing. Aren't the leaves beautiful, Zadie Soul? Ouch! Yes, that's one way to describe them. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little crack in my neck. I'm fine. Anyway, it's nothing compared to my back. Oi! Oi! Give your Zadie a push, will you? The knees are all locked up again. Ah, that's the ticket. Oh, oh, my back hurts. My hip aches. My eyebrows are no picnic either. Oy. Your eyebrows hurt? Even your eyebrows? When you get older, autumn can be a difficult time. The cold gets into your bones and doesn't come out until spring. Is there anything I can do? Anything I can do? Well, if it's not too much trouble, could you get me the newspaper? Here you go. Such a good boy. Is there anything else I can get you, Sadie? You don't happen to have a couple of spare knees on you by any chance. <laughs> Jacob! Maybe I should ask Mum or Dad to call the doctor. Uh, no, 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 no need to trouble your parents. I'm fine. All I've got is a condition called old age. Hey, Jake, where are you, kiddo? You better run along. And don't worry about old Zadie, okay? Okay. Run along, and don't worry about old Zadie, okay? Okay. Jacob! Coming, Dad! Poor Zadie Saul. I wish I could do more for him. But what? Hey, partner. Oh, hi, Dad. I want you to go over to Miss Darling Sweetie Pies and rake up her leaves. Why me? Why me? Because she's our neighbor, and it's a fine and noble thing to help our elders, especially when they bake the best ginger snaps in town. Save some for me, okay? I will, Dad. <laughs> this looks like a job for Kid Power! The fearless O'Toole and intrepid Shapiro are sworn to help all kids everywhere, including pipsqueaks, squirts, little tykes, and small fry. A.K.A. you. You'll help? You'll actually help? Indeed, we shall lend you these official Kid Power work gloves. We don't want you getting any calluses. Hmm. And don't forget to bring us back some ginger snaps. <laughs> I'm glad you two find raking leaves so amusing. It's your job to rake our yard. But Dad, Kid Power can't waste their valuable time on menial labor. We have a higher calling. We must be ever on the alert. For the sake of humanity. Kid-manity. Nice try. Now hop to it. <gasps> For the sake of your allowance. After I help Miss Sweetie Pie, I'll hurry right back and take care of Zadie. <gasps> Buford, what are you doing? I lost a quarter, so I've divided the neighborhood into sectors. Sectors? It's a standard search and rescue technique. If it works for lost hikers, it should work for a lost quarter. Your yard is sector 632. Only 3,004 to go. What are you up to, Jacob? I'm going to Miss Sweetie Pie's to rake her leaves. 
I'd better give you a hand. That's quadrant 621. When I searched it this morning, it was chest high in leaves. Chest high? On me. On you, it's more like up to the eyeballs. Oh, that's just great. Just really great. <laughs> Hello, boys. You didn't have to hire someone to rake up all your leaves, Miss Sweetie Pie. We would have done it for free. <laughs> hire someone? Don't be silly. I rake the leaves myself. Whoa! She sure moves fast for an old person. You should see her in her ninja uniform. You mean, she still dresses up for Halloween? Not exactly. She can't be much younger than my Zadie, and he can hardly move. I wonder how she does it. What's your secret, Miss Sweetie Pie? Now, Jacob, I thought that adventure with the sweater was going to be our little secret. It still is. Buford means, what's your secret to staying so healthy and athletic? Oh, that secret. Come with me. Here it is. My fountain of eternal youth. The source of my get up and go, go, go. <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing! Wow! Look at the detail on this squirrel. You don't see workmanship like this anymore. Ah, without my fountain, I'd be just another little old lady. <laughs> Would it be okay for my grandfather to come over and have a drink? Of course, Jacob. Just look at that tail. Once he visits Miss Sweetie Pie's fountain, Zadie's soul can kiss all his aches and pains goodbye. Huh? Unhand that antiquated implement. Hey! You, yes you, can be the very first on your block to own a Carl Fester King Fall Fixerizer. It's fast, it's easy. Just blast your fallen leaves into your neighbor's yard. No thanks. No thanks. Turn down. Twice. Oh, don't tell me it's you again. What are you doing on my street? What's the matter, Tutu? Afraid my fall fixerizer will cut in on your leaf raking scam? Hmm? I bet you just soaked that little old lady a bundle to rake her yard. If she soaked in anything, it's sweat. She did it all by herself. <laughs> that old bird. Miss Darling Sweetie Pie might have the wrinkles of an 80-year-old and the fashion sense, but she's also got her very own fountain of eternal youth. Eternal youth? It's right there in her own backyard, and it's the source of her get up and go, go. <laughs> Good one, Buford. You crack me up. Well, gotta go. Gotta go. It's better if he doesn't know about the fountain, Buford. Carl Fester King can't be trusted. Fountain of eternal youth. <laughs> Crazy kid. Must think I was born yesterday. No time to play, Muffin. I have a retaining wall to build. <laughs> Carl Fester King's Fountain of Eternal Youth. Hmm. Now that has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to give the pipsqueak our work gloves? <sighs> My calluses have calluses. <laughs> <gasps> no way! The pipsqueak is finished? Miss Darling Sweetie Pie raked up all her leaves by herself. Ah. She moves really fast for an old person. Come with me, come with me! 
Why such a rush? Is there a fire I should know about? No, I want you to come to Miss Starling's Sweetie Pies. Sweetie Pie? Uh, the little old lady across the street hops around a lot, always baking cookies. Yes, she has... Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, there goes the back again. Don't worry, Zadie, it's not far. Oh, oh, and the knees. <gasps> oh, and the neck just checked in, too. Oi. Sorry, Jake. These cakey old bones aren't up for a road trip. Oi. Maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. All right, Sadie, but call me when you wake up. We'll go right over. <laughs> ah. Noah, Emma, supper time. <sighs> Good job, you two. You can do the backyard tomorrow. The backyard? Uh, but... Huh? Where are they all coming from? Obviously, this is some sort of evil plot to keep kid power out of action. <laughs> Jake, could you take this to Zadie? He's not budging from that chair. Oh, no. Is it his back? Actually, I think it's reruns of Sunset Ranch. Sadie, you were supposed to let me know when you woke up from your nap, remember? Oh, oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the memory isn't what it used to be either. It's okay. We'll go over to Miss Sweetie Pie's right after <clears throat> supper. Would you look at how dark it is already? With these old peepers, I'd only trip on something and break a hip. But it's not so dark yet, Sadie. I should have your eyesight. Better I should stay put. <sighs> Well, all right. First thing tomorrow, then. You'll see. All your problems will be over. Speaking of problems... What is it? Your neck? Your eyebrows? It's the remote. I had it here a minute ago. Ah, at least my thumb is still working fine, thank goodness. Don't worry, Zadie. Soon you'll be right as rain. Rain? Just what I need. The damp will kickstart my rheumatism. <laughs> By this time tomorrow, Zadie will be able to do all kinds of fun stuff. Come on, Zadie Saul. We're almost there. A nice young gentleman bought the vacant lot behind my house yesterday afternoon. And he's already building his house? Already? Yes. Young people today are always in such a rush. But he did take a moment to stop and admire my fountain. He was admiring the fountain? Yes, I met him out here at the crack of dawn, rushing back and forth, taking measurements. He wanted to be sure his fence wasn't a single inch on my property. Isn't that considerate? I'd say it's suspicious. Very suspicious. No snoops allowed. <gasps> it's purely for safety regulations, of course. Your safety. You stinker! That's a drilling car! A drilling car! Scram, <gasps> Tutu, before you have an industrial accident. I see you two boys are getting to know one another. I brought you some ginger snaps, Mr. Festering Boyle. My little way of saying welcome to the neighborhood. Mm. Oh, no. oh. He's not building a house. He's got a drilling machine. And he's going to steal your eternal youth. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Young people nowadays have such wild imaginations. Don't they, Mr. Fetid Cheese Ring? <laughs> but, but... Come along now, Jacob. Let Mr. Fuzzbuster get on with his work. <laughs> Stealing from old people is easier than taking candy from a baby. And I should know. I've done both. <laughs> Mr. Blistered Toe is such a hard worker. I think I'll bake him some more ginger snaps. <gasps> 
Poor Miss Sweetie Pie. She's being cheated out of her eternal youth. And so will Zadie Saul. Wake up! We have to go to Miss Sweetie Pie's before it's too late. Oy, my aching back. Oy. Come on, Squirt. Grab a ray. Mm -hmm. Shh. Zadie needs his rest. What about us? We've been working non-stop to hold back the leaf hordes. The house would be buried in leaves by now if it wasn't for us. Sorry. I'll help you do the front yard when I get back. Front, front yard? Oh. <laughs> Is it okay to fill this up from your fountain, Miss Sweetie Pie? I'm afraid not, Jacob. I'm giving the fountain a thorough cleaning. It was getting clogged up from all the dust Mr. Frizzy Ding Dong is kicking up with his house building. Do you feel that, Miss Sweetie Pie? The ground is shaking. He's not building a house. He's tunneling under your yard. It's probably the moles, dear. They've been such a nuisance this year. It's not a mole. It's a rat. A big, greedy rat named Carl Fester King. <laughs> We have to stop him. Right. We can't let some con man take advantage of a nice little old lady like Miss Sweetie Pie. Let's save that squirrel. The squirrel? What else could he be after? And I lay two to one odds. I know who it is. Crusher! Wake up, you lazy mutt! Hope you like dogs, Tutu, because Crusher loves to eat nosy little brats for breakfast. <laughs> to take off this hose. It won't budge. If only we had a monkey wrench. Here you go. You carry a monkey wrench around with you? Doesn't everybody? Yourselves at home, boys. Miss Sweetie Pie, this is a nice rec room. Old people like to watch a lot of TV. You knew what he was up to all the time? All the time? Why, Jacob, I hope you don't think that just because I'm old, I'm feeble minded. Uh, no, of course not. I mean, well, not anymore. Luckily, Muffin and I got you boys out of there in time. In time? For what? In time for three, two, one. Bingo! Blackboard! <laughs> Whoa! I thought he drilled into your fountain of eternal youth. So did I. That little mistake will cost you a hefty fine and a ride downtown. I suppose you had to angle under my new retaining wall. And that's what got you pointed at that big water main, Mr. Washed Up Rat. It's King! All right? Carl Fester King! 
I can't wait to give Zadie a drink from your magic fountain. All his aches and pains will finally be gone. Oh, dear me. I really must apologize, Jacob. I never dreamt you would take me literally when I called it my fountain of eternal youth. You mean it isn't? It's just an old-fashioned cistern filled with rainwater. I'm afraid there's nothing very magical about it. Except for the squirrel, you mean. I can't believe I listen to these goofy kids. Take me away, boys. I deserve it. I was hoping it really was a fountain of eternal youth. Well, as the saying goes, you're as young as you feel. All your grandpa needs is plenty of exercise, a high-fiber diet, and remind him to drink lots of water. Proper hydration is so important. <sighs> I'll tell him, Miss Sweetie Pie. I'll tell him. Well, well, looks like you two are finally finished. Don't be so sure, Zadie Saul. They're out there, waiting, waiting to fall. <laughs> Kids today, such wild imaginations. Sadie, you're awake and moving. Uh, you caught me fair and square. Still want to take me over to visit the neighbor lady? No, I guess not. Not anymore. Oh, well then, what do you say we kick the ball around a bit instead? He's all better? Funny thing, Jake. As soon as the leaves are all raked up, Zadie experiences a miraculous recovery. Now, what's this about you trying to set him up on a date with Miss Sweetie Pie? <laughs> he told me he really had to lay on the old aching back routine to dodge that bullet. <laughs> Goal! Never underestimate the older generation, Jake. They can be pretty crafty. I know, Dad. Believe me. I know. Oh, in my heart! Just kidding. I was quite the terror on the soccer pitch in my day, you know. Come on, I'll show you a few moves. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Hey! Sorry, Zadie. The totally wiped out tool and the zombie fight Shapiro need to rest our eyes. Oh, oh boy. Our aching backs. Not to mention our knees. Our eyebrows are no picnic either. Uh, kids today just want to lie around all the time. No get up and go. Come on, Jake. I'll be goalie. Bet you can't get one past me. Okay, Zadie. Heads up. 